Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. As you work, your designs evolve, usually starting with key geometry and adding detail as you go. One drawback with this approach is you don't always know the amount of detail you will end up with, and if you had known, you may have approached your design differently. Take aligning holes as an example. You may want to add one to an existing series, reposition an existing hole, or correct a mistake on imported models. Solid Edge with synchronous technology is able to fix these problems. Here are a couple of options. In the first example, you can add 2D construction geometry. It adds a step, but provides further control. Create a construction line between two holes in the target series of holes to be aligned. Select the line command, touch the face you are going to draw on, but don't click anything. When the face highlights, a lock icon appears next to your cursor. Press F3 on your keyboard to lock the drawing plane. Now, infer the centre of the first hole by touching its perimeter. Click and do the same for the other hole to accurately draw a 2D line between them. I'll add a point along the line to move the hole to. Select the hole and pick the plane on the steering wheel. This is the disc shaped object in the centre of the steering wheel to move the hole freely on the plane rather than along an axis. You can select the midpoint if that's your final location but select the point added earlier if you want an arbitrary position. Use dimensions for precise control. If you just want to quickly reposition a hole, here's another way to align them, done entirely using the steering wheel. I'll select the hole to be moved to start the process, and then reposition the steering wheel using its origin to the centre of one of the holes in the target pattern. I'll reorient the steering wheel by shift clicking the primary bearing, and select another hole in the target pattern to set the correct orientation. Now I'll shift click the origin of the steering wheel and move it back to the centre of the hole being moved then select one of the orange orbs around the torus to set the axis in the direction I want the hole to move. Now when I drag the hole it moves along that axis simply selecting the centre key point on the target hole moves the hole being moved to the correct location. Choose whichever way suits your workflow but these techniques allow you to progress your design without backward steps and let you correct imported data. To find out more, go to siemens.com forward slash solid edge or call your local solid edge channel partner.